I grew up on a dairy farm, but my farm also had 6,000 chickens. So every once in a while, I like to throw in a story about chickens. So let's listen to this one because these chickens are going on an adventure. Big Chickens Fly the Coop by Leslie Helikoski, illustrated by Henry Cole. Four big chickens sat on their nests and sighed. It's nice and safe at home in the coop, said one chicken. Yes, said the others. We should always stay home. We could always stay home. We would always stay home, except we've always wanted to see the farmhouse. That's true, said the chickens, and they climbed out of their nests and headed out of the coop. Partway across the farmyard, the chickens stopped. Is that the farmhouse? asked one chicken. It has a roof. They tiptoed closer. It has a door. They stuck their necks out. It has a tail? It's a dog house. The chickens flounced, trounced, and body bounced. The dogs pounced, drooling muzzles dribbled. Frightened yard birds quibbled. Sharp teeth crashed, pointed beaks smashed. Snouts snapped, wings flapped, until Four slobbery chickens ran all the way back to the coop. We should have stayed home. We could have stayed home. We would have stayed home, except we want to taste the bugs at the farmhouse. That's true, said the chickens, and they headed out of the coop. Partway across the farmyard, the chickens stopped. Is that the farmhouse? asked one chicken. It has a chimney. They tiptoed closer. It has a seat. They stuck their necks out. It has four tires? It's a tractor! The chicken scritched, hitched, and flip switched. The tractor twitched into life. The rusty engine roared. Startled heartbeats soared. Black smoke spewed. Foul moods brewed. Eyes burned. Guts churned. Until... Four sooty chickens ran all the way back to the coop. We should have stayed home. We could have stayed home. We would have stayed home. Except... We want to see the view from the farmhouse. That's true, said the chickens, and they headed out of the coop. Partway across the farmyard, they stopped. Is that the farmhouse? asked one chicken. It has a gate. They tiptoed closer. It has a window. They stuck their necks out. It has hay. It's a barn. The chicken stomped, whomped, and clumpity clomped. The horses chomped at the bit. Skittish ponies bolted. Frazzled feathers molted. Hard shoes kicked. Wingtips flicked. Manes whipped. Tails flipped. Until... Four saddle sore chickens ran all the way back to the coop. The chickens sat on their nests and sighed. We'll never get to the farmhouse, said one chicken. No, said the others. The dogs are too loud. The tractor's too dirty. The horses are too wild. The chickens sighed again. It's too hard, except... Chickens can be loud. Chickens can be dirty. Chickens can be wild. That's true, said the chickens, and we really want to see the farmhouse. Four big chickens climbed out of their nests and headed out of the coop. When the dogs barked, the chickens fluttered over the fence and landed on the tractor. When the tractor smoked, the chickens flopped off and landed 
on the horse's back. When the horse bucked, the chickens flipped off and landed in front of a house. Is that the farmhouse? asked one chicken. It has a roof. It has a door. It has a chimney. It has a seat. It has a window. It has a gate. It must be the farmhouse. The chickens bugged, slugged, and bear hugged. They viewed, shooed, and woohooed. They stayed, played, and egg laid. All day long, the chickens glanced, pranced, and tap danced until they noticed their own coop right next door. Did someone move our coop? It must be true, said the chickens, and now we can go to the farmhouse anytime we want. Four slobbery, sooty, saddle sore chickens strutted all the way home. These big chickens traveled all over their barnyard and the past several weeks we've been drawing pictures from all over the barnyard. Let's draw another one today. We're drawing a bunny today or some people call them rabbits. First thing we're going to do is draw the head. So let's make a circle And then its body is actually going to be kind of like a carrot without the point at the end. So start from the head, make it a little bit wider, come back around and join it up with the head again. So see what I mean? If I would have made a point here, it would have looked like a carrot. Now we need a tail and bunnies have round puffy tails. Something else, oh, I know, they need long ears. So let's put one here. Wow, that's a long ear. And the other one is going to go here because they have tall ears because they have to hear really well. And we can put a little circle inside. And if we want, we can color that pink. Now, bunnies have a little nose that wiggles. So let's make a rectangle or excuse me, let's make a triangle. There's its nose and a little line and a smile. Eyes, bunnies have very little eyes. Mine are going to be black when I color it. Now we're missing the legs yet. So let's put a longer leg in the back because that helps them to hop or jump. And then in the front, they're going to have two legs. The other back leg is actually hiding. I think she's sitting on it. Let's see the one that I did before we began. Here you go. Remember, bunnies can be lots of different colors, and I even gave my bunny a little carrot snack. I hope you have fun drawing your bunny. See you next time. Bye-bye.